Eva trades. Hello and welcome to the Risk Management Trading Simulator series. We are going to look at the progress, look at the rules, we'll break down some charts and do a little bit of trading. So here we go. Day trading is risky and just keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. Um, I do like to trade and I'll practice trading today and if, uh, if it helps you to watch, I hope it does. Well, good for you. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun to sit here on YouTube and trade and, and uh, make mistakes in front of everybody. That's uh, it's exciting to me. I like it. Um, helps me learn. So hopefully we can all learn something in our trading. And this is a look at the gap scan um, stocks today. The ones that were on the gap scan. I have three of them here. ES or ESPR, MMAT and DBGI. Let me put my glasses on so that'll help. I'll go ahead and push play. This is a simulator, so it's practice trading. It's a weekend. The stock market is not open. So we have five minutes to go till the market opens. I'm going to break down some charts here. And uh, it looks like we have a five minute uptrend here on ESPR. And just to make mention, first things first, uh, the stocks on the gap scan this morning, um, there wasn't much. So December, not yeah, December 7th right here. Then I'll show you what we have. This is what I pulled off the gap scan trade ideas. You can go back in time on trade ideas and look three months in the past, up to three months in the past, and pull data uh, for what was gapping up that morning. And these were the three. So not much to go off of. Um, there were a few on the high of day momentum scanner, also trade ideas. And so a five minute uptrend here on ESPR. We can look at the larger time frame inside bar in the hourly. You can see the bounce happening on the 15. So that five minute uptrend. Um, can we keep going? So we, what we want to see, we had our last definite higher low right here. We have a little higher low here trying to break out right there. Really need to get over 859 to say that, hey, this is a really good support level, but it is a support nonetheless. But what we want to do is continue this five minute uptrend. And the second we lose the five minute uptrend, we're looking for consolidation on the 15 minute. And what that would mean is that our bounce on the 15 minute time frame is temporarily over and we may be looking for a pullback and a higher low somewhere above this low and an equilibrium possibly because we have that hourly inside bar there is plenty of room up and down to work with to keep an inside bar so a tightening range and equilibrium is possible here on ESPR so where might I trade it well we'll just uh, look at it here again before the market opens and see what it's doing the five minute time frame we have now a five minute downtrend earlier we had this um, high of the move and then we had this pullback a little lower high a little higher low so we had the equilibrium bull break and then we have the failure and looking at that on the 15 minute right here you can see right here this is that equilibrium that little bar here inside bar and then we had the bull break and now the failure so on the 15 minute time frame, we are pulling back. We still have a 15 minute uptrend. I'm not going to call this a lower high. Well, it kind of is. You could almost say we have a trend reversal on the 15, but I'm not going to say that. It's an inside bar on the hourly. So I, I would say on the 15, anything above 212 is a higher low um, on this pullback. So if we break 225, we could be looking at an hourly higher low. So time frames there are a little bit skewed, not quite aligned. All right, so five minute downtrend, looking for that trend to change. The first sign that our five minute uh, pullback is complete is a one minute trend change back to the bulls, because right now we have a one minute downtrend. Lots of, lots of bearish volume trading below the VWAP now on all three of these actually. So over here on DBGI, Inside bar on the five minute tightening range on the one minute, very low volume. So we definitely need to see the volume come in. Um, so we want to see a bull break. I'd like to see a bull break of this inside bar. Keeping in mind that we're quite a ways below the high. So any kind of bounce here will be met by the VWAP uh, psychological 450. And if we get through all that, I would expect to top out somewhere up here. We do have a resistance there. Um, but somewhere up here, yeah, oh, I'm only looking for 
a tightening range on DBGI also. Okay, so we got we got our work cut out for us here for the bulls with one minute to go till the market opens. Bear flag on ESPR here on that one minute time frame. So as far as trading this morning, I'm gonna try to be very cautious. I've had two red days in a row. The market's been really slow and I don't wanna take any unnecessary trades today and uh, give back even more profit. I'd really, really like to make it as less painful as possible. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. as I get ready for the market to open in 20 seconds. And thank you for joining me here at Eva Trades. Looking at the larger time frame again. So we're looking for that 15 minute pullback. So looking for where are we gonna bounce on MMAT? Basically looking for a trend change on the one minute. There's another inside bar on the 15 minute on ESPR. So can we continue this five minute uptrend on ESPR? I'm gonna look at my candle ranges, 24 cents on this one minute candle. So I, so I come down here and I set my stop loss to eh, somewhere around that. So that I'm 20 cents away from my entry. Oh, now that candle range is 30 cents. I've got time, I'm gonna change it. I'll go to 25. Go back up here. You can see what it's doing. Now, do I want to jump in that? It hasn't broken through any highs. But I might try. Well, now it's breaking. I was hoping it wouldn't yet. So I am in it one time. A nice breakout. We got that five minute higher low. See, I probably should have waited for that little pullback there. This first thing in the morning, these kind of moves here can often come back down and, and flush me out. But we'll see if that's what happens. Pulling back over here on DBGI, bear break on that inside bar. Zoom into this so we can get a good view. Trying to get above the VWAP on ESPR. So these two stocks over here are dropping. ESPR making a move. Really probably should sell, try to book some profit. But instead I'm gonna add, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a risk here. And then I'm going to sell it there. I'll sell it there too. So <clears throat> I'm at half of my daily goal. I didn't go over my, my rules. Here's the rule book. Yeah, that's not it. Risk management. Uh, my goal today is $200. I'm done if I hit my max loss of $400. I'm done if I get back half after hitting my daily goal. I won't take more than four positions to start the day, and I won't take more positions than my max loss would allow four. See, yeah, my daily goal is 200 and my max loss is 400. I've been a little like sketchy on that. I'm like, why would I want to risk, um, be, why would I be okay with making 200 but giving back 400? Like, eh. These rules are not permanent rules. They are just uh, rules that have seemed to work for me. There's a little dip. I could try to get in on a dip here on... ESPR, some pretty high red volume here. Oh, look at this over here now. Buying for the break through the VWAP, only looking for a lower high, keeping in mind on DBGI. On that um, five minute time frame. what time is it? Okay, we have another minute and a half left on that five minute candle. Can we hold that breakout spot over the VWAP? 
volume looks like it's trying to come in or see the volume increasing there getting close to being stopped out that one minute candle is going to close below the BWAP and below 450 and I'm jumping into ESPR looking for a break back through the high whoops I'm going to hold on to DBGI, just see if it'll, I'm willing to risk that, you know, that hundred dollars to see what happens. If it starts to try to break 450, I might add to it. ESPR pulling back a little more there. Higher red volume. A new five minute candle now. Yeah, probably gonna get stopped out on DBGI. We might pull back a little on that five minute candle. The same with ESPR. So that'll put me red on the day. Can we get through 450? Stopped out over there on ESPR now. I'm going to jump back in ESPR though. Now my stop is below the low of the day. Now I'm watching DBGI. In a second time on DBGI. That was the break. I didn't sell yet. Watching both these stocks at the same time. Makes the old eyeballs kind of sore. It's just back and forth, back and forth. Back in the day, I used to stare at nine stocks all at once and sometimes I'd be in five or six trades at a time and boy that would be tricky gonna hold it a little bit longer sell half there exited over there on the other one so there we go so I exited on ESPR because of the pullback and I saw that you know I was almost break even on it and I'm up at my daily goal here on DBGI I'm not quite at the daily goal I could buy there and look for a little pop back up I could get in trouble here if I give back half then I'll just stop that's fine um, what I'm looking for is that little move back up to maybe get myself at the daily goal. Oh, there we go. Just like that. So on a day where things uh, seem kind of slow, even though we are getting momentum, I'm looking um, at DBGI. I'm looking for that lower high. I'm not looking for it to break straight through uh, 492 here. Nice volume coming into it. But with the mindset in the larger time frame of just looking for a lower high. I don't think I want to trade it anymore up here. I'd be willing to watch it for a little bit to see if it does break through that high and then maybe take a mental note on that for the future. But there's a bounce potential on MMAT, but I'm not really all that interested in it. So I was a little concerned. So what did I do there? So 
So I got in I got in here as we broke through the VWAP. We didn't hold it. We consolidated sideways on this next candle, and I was holding with my stop loss down here. Just holding it. Did I get stopped out on it? I don't think no, I don't think I did. That was over here, I think, on ESPR. I got stopped out. Yeah, ESPR I got stopped out and then got back in down here, which actually I want to buy that for the break through the VWAP. Let's just see if it gives me anything at all. I'm going to sell it right there just real quick. That was a nice trade. So I don't feel comfortable holding it. I'm looking for a lower high on that one. It's an inside bar on the five. So here we go. Look at this. This could do something here. I'll jump in at once there and see if we get a move. It goes red though, I'm gonna jump out of it. Nope, I'm gonna get out. I don't wanna give back half, I really don't. Not after the red day that I've had the last two days. Um. Oh yeah, look at, look at ESPR now failing here. But yeah, so I got in here and then it didn't hold and I could have gotten out for almost break even, but I held I held the trade. I was actually red on it throughout here on this consolidation. My, remember my stop was like right here. I was so close to getting stopped out, but I didn't. And then as this started breaking out, and I was thinking, well, maybe I should sell. But then I'm like, nah, let's add. So I added and then we had the nice move and I held it. I didn't sell it here. I waited for that next candle and sold it there. I like this uh, with the, this look on the five minute. I could see us um, continuing higher. Maybe we pull back though first to that last candle over here, that high. So if we pull back to 457, there could be something there. There's certainly time left. It's the VWAP also. Let me see if it does pull back to there. I like the volume on the one minute. New one minute candle here. Let's see if it dips down to 457. I'm just going to watch it. If it's just going to break out right away, I might not do it. But if I can catch a drop. Patience is so hard sometimes. I just really want to be in it and it's FOMO. It's like, I don't want to miss out either. It's like, man, I see it going green and going up. It's like, oh, I'm going to miss the move. I'm going to miss the move. Oh no. Better jump in it. Oh crap. Now it's dropping. Crap. Get out. <laughs> okay. Here it comes. Let's see if it comes down. I don't like the breakout that it happened first. I don't like that move below. Let me see if I can get back out on a bounce here. Yep. Back out there. So, I didn't like the drop that it that it took there. So that's why I got back out. I didn't like the bounce that we had first. Because it was basically consolidation for the bears before that next move down. All right, so I was lucky I got out there unscathed. I'm up $272 on the day and that's going to do it for me. I'm going to stop right there and then I'm going to get ready and make the next video. So I like to practice a lot on the weekends, so you'll see a few more after this. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.